the latest edition of New Umber College Plays of the Week. We begin at number 12 with women's basketball sophomore Margot Arapred at the sales with the spin move and lefty layup. At number 11, men's basketball freshman Justin Allen was named to the Scotty Wood Tournament All-Tournament Team. He scored 18 points against Bryn Athen on 7 of 9 shooting, but his best play of the game, this emphatic block. At number 10, women's soccer ECAC semifinal at McDaniel, Mules against Springfield, and it's junior Carly Schaefer heading in this free kick from freshman Alexandra Cherinkin for her first career goal. At number 9, football first round NCAA tournament game, it's junior Nikki Gardy with his diving catch in the end zone to give the Mules a 21-0 lead against MIT just before halftime. At number 8, men's soccer ECAC championship game, scoreless in the second half before Kevin Hagan sets up Zach Simring for this goal. Just 39 seconds later, it's Hagan setting up another fellow senior, Matthew Vanis Linden, two goals in 39 seconds, the two quickest goals for the Mules since 2010. And then later in the second half, it's Thailand Akdag to Mark Winter to Brandon Osborne who scores his first career goal. And certainly, that is your championship winner! At number 7, women's basketball on the run, Scotty Wood tournament against Newman. It's sophomore Tara Zawalik to senior Emily Benton to senior Madison Kirchhofer for the layup. At number 6, it's men's basketball on the run in the Scotty Wood tournament. Dallas Hoffman with the steal, he feeds Michael Morielli for the dunk. And later in the game, this is how you break the press. It's Nicholas Chudy with the long pass for Morielli and another dunk. At number five, senior Raymond Lido was named MVP of the ECAC tournament after making 17 saves and allowing no goals in 322 minutes. In the Mules 4 tournament wins, the Mules 4 postseason wins set in the school record, and Lido making seven saves, including these two in the championship game against Kane. At number four, a historic day for the wrestling team. The Mules posted their first wins ever against both Delaware Valley and Wilkes. At 174, senior Brian Jamison went 3-0. He recorded 17 takedowns on the day, including eight in his match against Delaware Valley. At 157, sophomore Angelo Mahaffey went 4-0 to improve to 6-0 on the season. And at 197, it was sophomore Luca Kolstock. Also with a perfect day, he went 3-0 to remain undefeated at 9-0 for the season. At number three, this sack by Dante Leonardo and Brian Ragusio, part of a defensive effort by the Mules against MIT, recording their first postseason shutout ever. Quasi and Poma with the tackle for loss, Pat Palmer with the interception, the Mules allowed only 95 yards of total offense. At number two, ECAC semifinal against Widener. In overtime, it's senior Matthew Athanas Linden scoring the golden goal, the Mules' first postseason golden goal since 2010, and the next day, they won the ECAC championship. Congrats to the Mules. And at number one, there's nothing like a three-pointer to beat the shot clock. So in the Scotty Wood tournament, here's freshman Jalen Swan against Catholic, banking in the three. And then, there was this one. Shot clock, Gaines loses it. Duke has to put it up at the bunker. It's good! That was junior Spencer Duke with 5.5 seconds left in the Scotty Wood Tournament Championship game against Newman. Hitting the game winning shot, the Mules win 72-71 to take the Scotty Wood Tournament, and Duke was named Tournament MVP. Congrats, Spencer, and congrats to the Mules. That's all for this week. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll be back with more Plays of the Week in two weeks. Go Mules!